In this video, you're going to learn how to back up your WordPress blog. You should always, always have a current backup of your blog. If anything goes wrong with your server or something else happens with your blog, you should have a backup so you can restore all your hard work that you put into your blog. This is especially important when you're upgrading to a new version. If something goes wrong, you can then revert to something that works. Backing up a WordPress blog consists of two parts. You need to back up your files, and you need to back up your database, which contains all the text and the posts of your blog. Let's begin with the files. Use your uh, favorite uh, file transfer program. In this case, I'm using a program called Cyberduck, but you can use anything that you feel comfortable with. On this server, the files are in a directory called HTTP docs. On your server, it may be public HTML or something different. It depends on what host you have. Inside this directory, we want to copy all the files. And I'm just going to drag them to a local backup directory on my local computer. And you can see the files being transferred to your local computer. Now you should probably name this uh, directory something other than backup. Maybe backup with the site name if you have multiple blogs and a date so you know when this backup was from. Now this backup will contain all the original WordPress files, which may seem redundant, but it's uh, convenient to have all your files in one location, including any files that you've edited like the config file, or any themes that we customized. And this will also include all your plugins that you have installed. But it's important to note that a file backup does not include your database. And in your database is where all the posts and all the comments are stored. After all the files have been downloaded, you should burn them to a CD or store them in some otherwise safe location. Now that we capture all the files, let's proceed with the database. There are two ways to back up your database. One is using the database admin program, and that may vary depending on which host you have. And the other one is using a WordPress plugin. I'm going to show you both starting with the uh, database admin program. WordPress uses MySQL as its database, and a popular admin program for MySQL databases is called phpMyAdmin. On the home page of phpMyAdmin, there's a link at the bottom left called Export. Click on that, and here you shall see a list of databases Mine is called WordPress. Yours may be called something different depending on how you installed WordPress on your server. Scroll down, check the save as file and give it a descriptive name, which should probably include a date or a timestamp so you know how old your backup is. Leave compression to none and click go. and save it to disk. And your backup file will start to download. You will see the file name extension SQL, which means that this is a list of SQL commands to restore your database to the current state. That completes the database backup using the database admin program. Next, look at, let's look at using the WordPress plugin. Back on our WordPress admin page, we only have the default plugins installed. So let's go to the 
WordPress database backup plugin page. And the URL for this page you can find in the workbook that comes with these videos. Scroll down to the download link. We'll save it to disk. After we've downloaded these files, we want to transfer them up to your web server, just like you do with any plugin that you want to install for WordPress. So back to our FTP program. And this here is our WordPress directory. We go into WordPress content, plugins, and in the plugins directory, we want to upload the files. The exact procedure for your FTP program may vary. Now that the files are there, and it's important that you place the this file, the backup.php, in the plugins directory. It will not work if you put it in any subdirectory. Back to our browser and to our plugins page. Refresh that page. And we have the new WordPress database backup plug installed. Activate it, just like you do with any plugin. And down here it will say it'll be marked as green, active. Now we go to manage. Backup. Now, this may happen to you depending on how your host is configured. So I'll show you how to fix that. 